Emmy Lou here. Today I'm going to draw you a hedgehog. I want to draw you a hedgehog because I was in the woods the other day in flip flops and I, it was really late at night and I just kind of skimmed past this really strange thing. Look down, it's a hedgehog. Obviously I didn't harm it or anything but my foot definitely hurt afterwards and I just thought oh, I'm seeing hedgehogs everywhere at the moment. Um, so I hope you're keeping well, I hope you're keeping safe and I hope you're not going near any hedgehogs. I saw three hedgehogs this week and I, I don't normally see hedgehogs. I wanted to show you a rabbit that I painted and I wanted to show you, I think I've shown you it before, but I think he's kind of cute. I make my artwork into cards, so if you're interested to make your artwork into cards let me know and I'll tell you what you need to do. And there's my little bunny, my little bunny. It's really fun making your artwork into cards because it just makes you sort of think, oh, it makes you feel cool because you can give all your copies to people. So anyway, anyway, let's go. So what you want is paper and a pencil. Pencil. Right. I need to, and a rubber, get a, an eraser. So I'm using a big paper. So let's do, I'm going to do a potato shape. I'm going to use most of the paper up. So think about how big you, oh, I think I just gave myself a paper cut. Ooh. So think about how big your paper is. You want it as big as the paper almost. Ow. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's given themselves a paper cut at some point. And then what you want to do is you want to just touch about there and you want to go in. Just a little bit, but not too much. So it's like you're taking a little bite out of um, a jacket potato. Yum, yum. And then you're going to touch that bit there and you're going to go out. So we're going to make the schnozzle, we're going to make the nose. And then what you want to do is you want to just go in. It's kind of like a U shape. Think about U. So U. If you've got that confused or you're not quite sure. Really big jacket potato. Find the middle of that jacket potato at the end. Curvy line. Then carry that line to there. And then a U shape. Then we want to do the jaw. So we're going to go... And it goes curvy, it goes curvy up. So now, now we want to do a line, but we want to do the eye. So we're going to just do any eye. I quite like when you make your own cartoon eye. So, I mean, my eye is quite small. I'm not sure if I like that eye. It's going to be a big eye. Let's give me some eyelashes. It's going to be a a girly one and then on the other side so float across go da 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 and then the other eye could be there you probably wouldn't see it the other eye very much but we can do another eye that side it reminds me of oh Beatrix Potter had a hedgehog if you know Beatrix Potter and um, the illustrator and um, she wrote her own, own books oh and there was a, the name of the hedgehog because it was Puddle Duck, Jemima Puddle Duck, which was a duck, obviously. Then you have Peter Rabbit, and then we have the hedgehog, but I can't remember what the hedgehog was called, I'll have to find out. Anyway, so I want to do a little bit of an eyebrow, because it will give you the, the shape of the nose. So a little bit of an eyebrow, then you're going to go straight down, follow the nose line, follow the nose. Then you want to create like a little nostril, so you're going to do kind of like a shape in there. It's like a, a U shape, a U shape in the U shape. Then we want to do some cute little ears. So think about where the eyebrow is and you can just go across till you hit there. So it's like a map. So if you've got this and this and you join them up and move up a little bit, that's roughly where your ear is. About ear. Okay, right. And then the other ear is about there doesn't really matter where the other ear is because it's inside the, the spiny bits. So then we want to do the legs. Now think about jacket potato with butter. Mm -mm. I think that's my favourite. Jacket potato with tuna or butter. Now I just want to get a rubber. Just get your rubber because then we can rub out this. Might help you a little bit to see what things are. Things are. Rub out whatever's inside the little nose. Rub out whatever's in the ear. Now let's do the legs on that jacket potato. So jacket potatoes don't have legs. 
although we could do if we had a cartoon one. So we're going to just la 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 la. Can you see that bit there? It's kind of under. So you do a line, a straight line. Then he's got tiny legs, like the cutest legs ever. So you're going to go, then just give him a little foot. Doesn't matter how you do it, like a little booty. You know, like those little children booties, the boots are cute. And then you want to do another one. So you're going to go down, kind of like there, down, just join it up. I'm not going to do behind him because I want to do him sitting on a rock with lots of greenery. So now we're going to shape the body, really important now. So what we want to do is you're going to go round. Now you're going to touch the ear and you're going to go in. So you're about there and you're going to do this. Because, rub out this bit. Because we want it to look like his back and his spines are going to start there, if that makes sense. Then we're going to do this. Zig, zag. Now the spines are really like, they're just like that. But we're going to just draw them like that just for now. So think about the size of the body. We don't need it to be too round. We go inside. When you get to here, we're going to shape it more now. We're going to do this. One, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. You see that I'm changing now? I'm changing the zigzags. Now, he's not zigzaggy here as much because he's just kind of fluffy because they roll into a ball when they're threatened. So we're just going to zigzag to there, about here. Can you see it's like, nah. Then we're going to do fluffy bits there. So you want to touch that bit here, that little bit there. And you want to go fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. You're going under the jacket potato is basically what you're doing. And you're joining it up. So under the jacket potato, join it up. We're going to rub out all of this. Rub it away. Hope you're enjoying your morning today. Yeah, it's been tricky, hasn't it, with the lockdown? But you're all doing super well, I'm sure. Right, I'm just going to. Ah, I can rub out. But I'm rubbing this out anyway, just to help you a little bit. Now we want to do, it's quite a simple thing, a hedgehog, but it's all in the colouring. So we want to just touch there, just where the ear was, like un up the ear, and you're going to do zigzag. And it's got to be like a V, like a V, and then round, and then round, and then just like kind of lightly, just la 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 la, because this is going to be where his, his body bit is. He's just going a bit strong. That's where his body bit is, and this bit's going to be where there's foliage, because they always hide, don't they? They always hide in greenery. I love hedgehogs, they're so cute. Now, we want to do some rocks. So what I'm going to do is he's standing on a rock, and it's in the water. We don't want it to be too much water, because we don't want to fall in. So he's on this rock, and then he's right in here. So at the end of the rock, I would say, kind of there. Now, we want some grass there. So we're going to do this. We're going to go up and twirl. Up, twirl. The good thing about grass is it makes it look like the animal is in nature and not just a picture floating. So it depends how you want to do it. But we're going to do some little bits of grass there, a bit more there. The object of the grass is to hide that bit of the body because it makes him look more like a hedgehog because he's hiding in undergrowth. I wouldn't mind doing, I don't know, I kind of want a, a long bit there. Yeah, okay, I like that. And then I might do some stones there. And maybe, you know what, the water's gonna be there as well. And then some stones. Oh, you don't need to do any of these stones. You don't need to do anything. You just need, need them, you could just, it looks like he could fall in. Do you know what? He won't. I don't think they can swim either, so you've got to be super careful of a hedgehog. Now, I suppose I would do... I could do that, but we can do that at the end, so it doesn't matter. Right, let's go. I'm going to use... I'm going to use oil pastels today. They're awesome. They're these. 
They're um, Dola and Ra, I can never pronounce the name, but they're so good. They're so good. They go warm. When they get warm, you can smudge them really well. So what I want to do, what I want to do is I'm going to get like, if you don't have oil pastels, don't worry, just use anything you can. So I've got this light colour and this dark colour, and I'm going to do the light colour first. So I'm going to, oh man. <laughs> I'm just ripping the thing off because it's hard to use being able to rip the whole thing. Right, I'm just going to go under the body a bit. It's probably quite white. Do you know what? I might actually look. I might look at the picture that I'm copying. So, let's have, oh, it's white. But do you know what? It could be white and brown. Uh, beige. So I'm just going around and going around with this colour. If you don't have this colour, um, don't worry, you can use grey. So I've done that colour. Now I'm going to take a little bit of, oh, a little bit of grey, which I've kind of lost, which is probably why I don't use oil pastels. <laughs> I can use a dark grey. I'm using a dark grey. It's not ideal, but you know, what is right now. So a little bit of dark grey. I'm just doing the lines. I'm just going round. So I'm doing it in a bit of an adult way because it's really nice to blend. We're going to take the brune, the brune, and we're going to just colour the nose in. So you're colouring that that U shape of the nose, and you're just going to colour just a little edge of it. This is if you've got oil pastels or anything that smudges. Underneath's very dark, so we're just going to colour a little bit. And then I'd say the legs can be brown. And you don't have to colour the whole thing, just colour the outline. And then just under here, a little bit of brown. A little bit of brown. It's quite nice to use two different browns if you've got it. Which obviously I oh hang on. Hang on though. I've got I've got a dark brown and a light brown. But it doesn't matter. We could do a pink hedgehog. I think there's come some albino, um I think they're called albino. They're white hedgehogs with uh, red eyes, beautiful. So we're going to colour the hedgehog, but remember the grass is here. So what I want to do is I'm gonna basically going to outline all the bits I'm drawing it in the way the fur, the um, spines go because if you do that it won't look like the hedgehog's got the spiny bits I'm going to try different browns as well because it's quite cool it's quite cool to try different ones It is boiling in my studio today. Whew, okay, when you get to the edge, you want to naturally go out, but I'll show you how to do that. Right, that's literally the hedgehog done. So you get your little finger, the clean finger. It's got to be quite warm. And then you're just going to smudge it. If you can't warm your finger up, maybe put it in some warm water and then dry it and then try it. But oil pastels are probably one of the hardest things to use I think when you're smudging so you probably don't need to use them if you're a bit worried you could use chalk would be awesome but I thought I'd try something different so when you get this what I want to do is I'm going to smudge it all this way as my finger falls off Ooh. Oh, it's like smudging chocolate I haven't had chocolate today I think I might <laughs> I'm not supposed to have much of them. I was actually allergic to all the sweets when I was small, which wasn't nice, <laughs> which wasn't good. But they make okay ones now, don't they? That you can right. What I'm going to do is get white. <laughs> Let's get white. I want to. I don't know if you can see. I want to kind of just make some. Yeah, that's it. I want to make some like the spines are coming out. And I'm going to get some black. Black's always awesome because it makes everything, I just feel like it makes everything come to life. So remember, they're spiny bits, you're coming out spines. Now my eye is gonna be black, but you can do any color. I'm gonna outline the ears, just so it stands out. I wanna outline that bit of the nose, and I wouldn't mind outlining this bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. I could outline this. Live the dream, outline everything. So you want to outline, he looks, I quite like him actually like that. So you want to outline everything. Now remember this is an eye, not an ear, because it looks a bit like an ear, doesn't it? 
So you could go quite wild with this and have some fun with this because it looks lovely when he's spiky coming out. Looks so cute. I just love the hedgehog. I'm glad I can see hedgehogs more now. They've come out. Hibernation, I don't know. So if you haven't got the oil pastel, do not worry. Use anything else. Anything. Or uh, watercolours, whatever. So that's roughly my hedgehog. He's... I think it was Tiddle, Tiddle, Tiddles, or oh, I'm gonna find what what it's called, the hedgehog in that book. Tiddle. So I'm sure all of you know. <clears throat> if you don't know, I reckon you'll end up knowing. Someone will tell you. Probably your parents. Oh yeah. So anyway, right. Grass. If you can't do the grass because you've done the whole thing over it, that's okay. You could do a separate piece of grass and stick it on top if you like. So I'm gonna just colour green for my grass. If they're overlapping, you could change the green. So half of the green could be that and half the green that. It looks nice when you do grass that's slightly different colours. It just looks more fun, I suppose. More fun. And then a bit of blue for the water. I'm not going to do the whole thing because there's just no need. Whoops. I always drop my pastels, which is not good because I don't want them to crunch it as I walk on it. Okay. So I'm just colouring in the bricks. Now what I'm doing, these stones, I'm not colouring the whole thing, just doing around the edges because I think it looks really cool. <laughs> it looks really cool when you start smudging in. As I say, if you can't smudge because your fingers are too small and it's painful, you could colour the whole thing grey and then go over it with black or something. Just experiment. If you've got oil pastels, give it a go. They do have to be quite good quality, otherwise they won't smudge very well and you'll find yourself sitting there getting frustrated and upset, which is what I do sometimes. I try not to, but it's easy to get annoyed, isn't it, when something's not going well with your art. Oh, and do you know what's nice with the water as well? Like, you could create different colours in the water. Different colours. And just to let you know, I'm doing online classes that are live um, tomorrow, Tuesday. So let me know if you want to do it. Tell your parents. Because uh, it would be nice to see you live and then I can show you. We're going to be doing lots of fun pictures of um, summer scenes, so like fields of sunflowers or seascapes, so you've got that seaside. That would be pretty cool. So I'm going to smudge this. Ah, oh, getting messy now. Ta-da! I love him. I think he looks cute. It's really nice when you like your work. Because sometimes I draw something and I think, oh no, and then I sort of almost have to draw it again, or oh, I just think, nah. Right, there's my hedgehog. What you could do, I don't know what, I love yellow. What you could do is just like have a yellow sun there, or do a yellow background. There's just something awesome about yellow. It just makes me happy just to see yellow. Van Gogh's favourite colour was yellow. So, subscribe, share, let everyone know about the videos because it's so cool to see what you'll produce when you go back to school. You'll be so super duper good at art. You're probably good anyway, but it's good to practice, really good. I've been practising doing a painting a day and I've definitely got quicker and I definitely like what I'm doing. So yeah, have fun, let me know how you get on and share with me your pictures like you always do. Lots of love, see you tomorrow.